Lesson 8. The Pericardium. Anatomy. Cardiovascular System. The Pericardium. In scientific terms, pericardium is a fibrocerous sac that surrounds the heart. Its fibrocerous structure separates the heart from other organs to avoid any damage caused by rubbing during the contraction phase. The pericardium is made up of two main layers fibrous pericardium and serous pericardium. In this image, we can observe the fibrous pericardium that continues to cover the basis of the large blood vessels. A few ligaments, about which we're going to talk soon, support the pericardium. Instead, serous pericardium is a thin mesothelial layer made up of two sheets. A parietal sheet, which covers the inner surface of fibrous pericardium, and a visceral sheet, which covers the outer surface of the heart. The cavity formed between the visceral serous pericardium and the parietal serous pericardium is called pericardial cavity and contains pericardial fluid. This serous fluid is ultra-filtered by the blood and its volume equals to a few cc. The lab breaking function of the serous fluid serves to minimize the friction generated by the heart as it contracts. But let's see the fibrous pericardium. The fibrous pericardium covers the heart. Pericardial projection on the chest wall is called pericardial space, and it is slightly larger than the cardiac projection space. The pericardial ligaments are very interesting too. The upper stern pericardial ligament springs in the right atrium and goes upward to the manubrium posteriorly. The lower stern pericardial ligaments arise from the pericardial area that corresponds to the atherolateral wall of the right ventricle and goes downwards, inserting in the last part of the sternum, longitudinally. Pericardiophrenic ligaments are divided into anterior and posterior ligaments. They connect pericardium to diaphragm precisely in the phrenic center, and so does the anterior ligament that connects it from cardiac surface, while the posterior ligament connects at the posterior atrioventricular sulcus. Left and right pericardiophrenic ligaments connect the posterior part of the pericardium at the level of the posterior wall of atria. These ligaments also include vascular and bronchial structures inside that can be found in this position. The last couple of fibrous pericardial ligaments is composed of pericardial vertebral ligaments. The anterior ligament starts from the anterior interatrial sulcus while the posterior ligament starts from the posterior wall of the right atrium and from the adhering vascular structures. Two ligaments join up along the trachea and are connected to the vertebral body of the last cervical vertebrae. Pericardial ligaments function is to maintain the heart and axis. This video was created thanks to Anatomy Learning, an interesting free web app. The hyperlink can be found in the description. Instead, the text used for the concepts is Human Anatomy of Eddie Hermes. Thanks for watching.